what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is danielle hello we are positive vibes only here subscribe down below i've been posting videos literally all the time i have the time so i'm trying to bring a ton of positive and uplifting content to you guys and just inspiring and just everything because we all got to stick together in times like now where it's really weird like i'll literally wake up and i'm like ah birds are singing la la and i'm like things are happening <laughs> you know do you guys like have that happen too anyways I'm feeling really weird right now because I just did my hair and makeup for the first time in actually six days so it's really really strange but I'm kind of here for it you guys not sponsored I got the Dyson air wrap so I got the Revlon like blow dryer brush thing to try it out it's like 30 bucks and I was like I don't really know if I want the Dyson one I don't know if it's worth it whatever let me see if I use this Revlon one and you guys wanted me to update you let me tell you I used it I love it and so I got the Dyson Air Wrap because it had a ton of different attachments. You could do more like curly hair. You could do just like the blowout look. It had like a blow dryer attachment. It's worth the buck. I just did this. I literally just posted an Instagram story because I was just so impressed with it. My hair was literally wet. Well, damp. I like waited for it to be a little bit damper. And then I used the two curling ones. I look like I just got a blowout. Like I don't need to go to the dry bar ever again. I mean, I'm going to hopefully when all this stuff craziness, you know, goes away. But like, I really, I really can stay quarantined for a hot minute, you know, like I just did it down home blow. That was really exciting. So I'll leave a link down below if you guys want it because I, this took me 10 minutes. This, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, it was just really exciting. And you know, like when you haven't put on makeup for a while and you like put it on, you're like, whoa, like I look human. So yeah. As you guys can tell, I'm a little lobster vibes right now. I've been laying out absolutely every day. I'm so beyond thankful that I live in the state of Florida and I can just go out my backyard and kind of just ignore the rest of the world. I've just been really trying to enjoy nature and the great outdoors as much as possible. I highly suggest you guys do that if you haven't. Also, if you guys haven't seen my things to do while stuck at home video, definitely watch it. It gives you guys some ideas on things to do. I have even more things that I want to do. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. Um, I just want to kind of film a video about how I'm feeling right now. I'm a little caffeinated, can't lie. Um, it's, oh my God, it's 7 p.m. I'm drinking coffee at 7 oh my gosh I I don't know about you guys but like I just like don't keep track of time anymore like I have nowhere to be like I don't have a spin class I don't have class I don't have anything right now so I'm just kind of like living my life and it's and I guess because daylight savings it's like still sunny out whoa okay this is inappropriate but you know what I needed this I needed this if you guys are new here or you don't really know what's going on in my life personally you know besides everything in the news I'm a junior at the University of Georgia and right we had spring break yeah like last week yeah as you guys watching this last week and while we were on spring break all of this started to get super crazy and they extended our spring break for two more weeks so basically i have a three-week spring break i cannot complain i was really devastated at first i had this like big panic attack which i don't really have i literally just remember like running outside i was in my room i was like i remember i was taking the tag off a pair of sweatpants or something crazy Got the email from UGA two weeks. So I all at that point all I knew was we just had two more weeks at home. I'm so thankful to live where I live and I love my house and I love my family. It was really weird because you guys know I'm a big like gal on the go. I love to do stuff. I love my routine. I kind of thrive off of routines and not having anything for two weeks, it was kind of this weird feeling. And obviously I was like, oh, I didn't really get to say goodbye to my friends, my boyfriend. It was just it was a lot. And it all hit me at once and I ran outside and I just sat there and cried for like an hour. My mom came and comforted me. And it was just like a weird feeling and I and then I kind of felt a little bit better and then a couple days went by I went to Athens got all my stuff and as I was in Athens because I wasn't sure how much to pack because UGA hadn't announced if we were online for the rest of the semester or if we were resuming in a month you know no one was really sure we were just kind of taking it day by day and then I remember I was packing up some stuff and I was kind of sitting there like hmm do I bring a ton of stuff do I bring all of my stuff like I really didn't know what to bring like I didn't know if I needed to bring my school stuff it was just this weird thing and they sent an email, I remember the subject, it was like online for remainder of the semester and my heart just like sunk. And it, and it wasn't like that big of a shock because most of my friends' schools had already decided that UGA was kind of one of the last schools to do that. But I was like, no, like, you know, I, I, I'm really positive. I'm like, it'll be okay, like, it'll be fine. Like, you know, maybe they'll just do like a couple more weeks extended online and then we'll be back in class. And it was just reality hit. And I remember all my group chats were going crazy. I called Ryan immediately. He was at his house packing his stuff. We were both in Athens at the time. And we, everyone kind of expected it, but no one really wanted to leave it, you know? That really sucked. And then Ryan came over and we sat on my couch and I cried for an hour. And you know, I felt, I still sometimes feel selfish for being sad. Like I, 
it really sucks. I'm the most at peace with it yesterday and today. Um, and I get more at peace with it every day. Obviously, it's kind of like, you know, you're mourning the loss of something. And I know this sounds so dramatic, but I know a lot of you guys are in college right now too, or even high school. And there are things you were looking forward to. There's things absolutely everyone is looking forward to. And I think that's what I have to keep reminding myself is, yeah, this sucks for me, but literally everyone else basically on this planet is dealing with the same thing. So I always kind of tell myself, you can't really have FOMO right now because no one really should be hanging out and having big parties or anything. So there's no, like no one else is like at spin class. Like that was one of the big things for me. I know it sounds like really annoying, but I was just trying to teach spin and I was getting really excited about it. And I loved Prevello and I've been like really in shape and I, you know, I had all the thoughts of that. I was like, oh my gosh, I won't be able to go to the studio. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't be in my apartment in Athens. I thought, oh my gosh, Ryan. I thought, oh my gosh, Delaney, oh my gosh, all my friends, you know, things go in your head, I'm sure, as well as you guys, like my formal, my sorority formal is about to be in a couple weeks, you know, we have date nights, you know, so many, uh, spring football game, whatever, at the end of the day, kind of where I'm at right now, I'm not completely, like, okay, I am, this is what I said in my last video, I'm not complaining, but like, I am, it sucks, and it sucks for all of us, and I remind myself that there's a reason all of this is happening and that's so we can be super safe and take care of this country because we don't want this to like last forever or months and months and months and months. Just have to remember that all of these precautions are being taken so that this doesn't get absolutely any worse and it doesn't go into the fall. Like we, I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, there's sorority recruitment, there's football, it's my senior year of college. There are so many things coming up. We had the Gals on the Go live show next Saturday from now and we had to cancel it or postpone it. And you know, things are happening. By doing all these things, I'm just hoping that it'll all slow down a little bit in the next month or two and that, you know, we can kind of start to feel a little bit more normal again. It's so crazy. But anyways, that's just kind of like how I was feeling when I first found out. I was really devastated. It was like a really tough day for me. I'm sure for you guys as well. It was whew, really tough. I, I was feeling so just weird and lost and confused. Um, a couple of days ago and then so yeah, so then I got my stuff. I got my car A lot of people are confused why I went up to Athens All I had in Tampa with me when I was on spring break were bathing suits and I didn't have my podcast microphone I didn't have any of my video equipment because I, I didn't vlog, you know at all that week I didn't have anything so I had to go up and I don't regret that decision. I needed to go up. So I went up to Athens, I got my car, I got to see Ryan because I know that I'm probably not gonna see him for a minute. I don't really think that's in the books right now, sadly, um, but I'm just keeping hope and we're FaceTiming a lot and talking on the phone. Drink, so get coffee right now? Yeah, I didn't realize it was seven o'clock. Mm. I'm gonna be up all night. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to make TikToks or something. Mm, yeah, good luck. Okay, so I went and got my car. I drove it down like with a ton of stuff. I brought just like a ton of different things. I needed, I wanted like workout clothes because I want to stay in shape. Um, I needed some textbooks for classes. I need my podcast mic, all the things. Like I brought back the flowers that Ryan got me for our one year anniversary. These supposedly last for a year. Just like little things that I wanted um, just to like feel the most at home because I know I'm going to be here for a bit. As of now, I plan to just be in Tampa and just be at my house and be with my family. I know I'm gonna be sick of them by the end of this, but good thing I like them right now because we're all pretty close, which is good. Um, my heart goes out to some of you guys that just can't stand your family because that, it's tough, it's tough, I get it. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's why I went up to Athens and I came back and kind of like got situated, kind of mourned the loss of my second half of junior year for a little bit. And then I've just been finding peace in the last few days. And I'm sure a lot of you guys too, like each day gets better. And I've just been waking up and drinking some coffee, going outside. I've just, like I said, I've just been trying to go outside as much as I can. I have FaceTimed so many people, like on my call list, it's like an hour and 30 minutes, an hour, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, like all that. And I'm just like staying connected with people as much as possible. Cause I feel like that's so important. Cause it's like, okay, yes, social distancing, self-isolation, but it is so important to talk to people and talk about how you're feeling or make a friend laugh, have a friend make you laugh. Um, it's actually kind of funny. I haven't really watched a movie yet. <laughs> like there has a bit of time that I've sat down and watched movies because I've just been like working on projects that I've been putting off for so long. Like Brooke and I have been designing new merch, like like cozy comfy stuff to, you know, for you guys to like have cute stuff to latch around your house. And I've been learning so many TikTok dances, you guys. Like it's, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I'm really liking the savage one. I'm a savage. La la. I don't know the words. I'm gonna be doing a video on this, but I'm going to deep clean my whole entire room here, my closet, my like makeup. I mean, everything. It's gonna be a day or two long. So the vlog will be kind of all over the place, but I'm gonna start that soon. And it'll just be like a great, because 
my room here I've always just been like okay I'm just here for a little bit like I'll just drop my stuff off like I'm not really in my room much and I'm gonna be in my room a lot like I, I need to clear up my desk because I'm gonna be doing online classes here um, and I just need to make it a more livable space I actually brought my um, echo show from school here just like to I'm trying to keep normalcy as much as possible um, and I really suggest that for you guys as much as you can so like drinking coffee in the morning like yeah right now I'm still on like a spring break like I, I don't have to I'm not doing like homework or anything right now but just waking up and having that cup of coffee and having a good start to the day just makes me feel good and maybe every couple of days I'll like get done up you know whatever um still working out still interacting with my friends from school just trying to keep as much normal as possible so you don't go insane yeah, my heart really goes out to so many people obviously um if student wise i really feel for college seniors high school seniors any seniors of any sort is tough because you feel like you literally got that semester taken away from you and i literally feel so so much for you guys and i'm just thinking about you guys and i hope there are ways that your school is going to keep you connected i mean this is just more an excuse for you guys to come back for alumni weekends and there i think it's going to bring your grade a lot closer together than you think i hope um it's really sad it's so crazy it's like the wildest thing ever but with all this being said, I'm not saying that this has happened for a reason by any means. I mean, this literally sucks so bad. But I remember right before spring break and right before all of this really started to get intense, I was so overwhelmed. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a stress mess a lot. I, I thrive off of like having a lot to do, which is also why this has been really tough for me. I really think that the world needed a big pause. Because if you think about it, there's hustle culture, there's gals on the go, all of us just trying to get as much done and trying to keep up with each other as much as possible. And it's very hard to kind of not compare yourself to others and feel like you have to be doing so much or you know you don't feel like you can relax or you know you're at work all day and then you come back and then you have more work or you have school work or you have your side hustle or what. there's just so much going on in the world right now and i can't help but think that the world i know that the world needed a big pause and this is really teaching us unfortunately it involves many thousands of people dying getting infected you know so many people losing their jobs it breaks my heart and i'm not saying that this is a good thing by any means however for me to have peace with myself and for you as well, this is a pause for you. This is a time for you to actually relax and not really feel bad about it. I mean, that's something that I've had to deal with. I'm thankful I have another basically week of spring break and then classes do resume online. But even then, having classes online, you'll be able to do it from home. You'll be able to relax. You won't feel this constant pressure. And it, the classes are gonna be hard. You know, you're still gonna have tests. You're still gonna have to study, but it's gonna be a whole new dynamic. Heck, I have some friends that are loving this. They're like, wow, finally, everyone's joining me on this, you know? Like, I have some friends that literally thrive off of, you know, watching movies and just chilling out all day, and they're like, yes, let's go. And then I have some friends like me that are just going stir crazy, and it's gonna be hard for a little bit to adjust, but I really am finding the peace in this. I think it's so cool. I've been loving watching people's Snapchat stories, Instagram stories, and seeing, you know, the things people are coming up with. Like, I have a friend that, like, posts on her Snapchat story, like, balancing a wine glass on her head. Like, why not? Like, it's funny. Or like people have been trying new yoga poses or at home workouts or, you know, just getting closer with their family and having like game nights. Like there's just so much you can do. And like I said, there's so many things like I'll just read you guys a little list of like things that I want to get done while I'm at home. Like I said, I want to deep clean my entire room. Um, I want to find new spin music. I think I said this in my last video, but I want to like make new spin playlists and choreograph them so that when we do get to go back, it'll just be like... I'll have so many, you know, been dancing. I want to deep clean my car, like go out front, put on my bathing suit, just like wash my car, just like random stuff that I do not have time for normally. It's like a ton of random things. Like there's just so much, like a lot of people have been learning to cook and making new things. Um, so it's definitely been cool for that. So yeah, that's how I'm kind of trying to stay positive. And those are the things that I keep reminding myself of and just reminding yourself about how blessed you are and that you really can't feel guilty for not doing as much as you're used to because we're all kind of in this boat together. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to nurses, doctors, mailmen, truck drivers, grocery store employees, oh my gosh. I mean, I'm definitely missing people, but the people that are keeping our lives day to day as normal as possible, keeping people healthy, 
it is so important and I just can't say thank you enough to those people to the restaurants that are staying open and doing takeout I commend you guys support your local businesses as much as possible they are hurting right now and it literally hurts my heart so much. I've been trying like if I order takeout and trying to tip more, tip more if you can. There's just like little things that are gonna really make people happy. Even if let's say you are out in public, you're supposed to be staying home obviously, but you know, in my county, we're allowed to go to the grocery store. We're allowed to go for bike rides. We're allowed to go for walks. If you encounter someone and you see them, say hello, give them a smile. It is so important right now for all of us to stick together in a social distancing way. I'm not trying to get like political at all. I'm just literally saying, say hi to people, smile. I love you guys absolutely so much. And I really hope that we can all stay positive together. Please keep the, the comment sections positive. I've been asking for that. I know a lot recently. I love constructive criticism, but um, a lot of the comments recently have just been about everything going on, not even about me. And I think we should just keep it positive because we all need to uplift each other as much as possible while staying informed. But I just want everything to be positive. So I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos. I think I have been already, but I'm still gonna be. So comment down below video requests if you have anything specific, I really have the time. So definitely hit me up with those requests. And yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. We got this and I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Bye-bye.